So in this segment, we're going to be talking about Reese Mogg's Imperial Measurements consultation biased after no option given to say no. So effectively, what he's done is kind of um, put a um, so some flow ounces onto the scale to really help him push the whole imperial nonsense. Imperial measurements are a joke. Americans have their own version of the imperial scales. You know, this is why the metric system makes so sen- so much sense. Everyone loves the metric system. You know, it was meant to be one of the surefire wins of Brexit, but plans to bring back imperial measurements face criticisms over a biased government review. And if imperial measurements were so popular in the UK, why would you need a biased government review? You know, they're biasing the review because I don't think people actually really want to go back to the imperial system. That system makes no sense. Uh, ministers were keen to launch a review to revive imperial measurements such as pounds and ounces and the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, um, now overseen by Jacob Rees-Mogg, conducted a government consultation over the summer. However, the question appeared to have something missing. Survey question asked consumers, if you had a choice, would you want to purchase items in imperial units or imperial units alongside the metric equivalent? No other option was given. So it's clearly a buy survey. There's no option for imperial sucks metric only. Um, Should be a comma there, but you get the point. Um, You can only pick imperial or both dodgy. Officials say respondents who wanted to keep their current metric system could send in an email to the department or give their views in one of the text boxes. No one's going to read those emails, let's be honest. If you send an email to this department, no one's going to read it. The BBC Radio 4 programme, more or less, last week highlighted concerns about the survey and criticism of it on social media. One Twitter user commented, This survey is being punted by BEIS. It is so slanted, the words nearly slide off the page. True. Dr Pamela, a consultant on survey methods who has advised local governments, uh, told more or less, This is missing the category that you would prefer metric only. We're going to get biased answer because people have to choose something that doesn't apply to them. It seems that they're actually trying to sculpt or lead responses uh, towards what they want because they want people to go back to Imperial, because they're desperate for these Brexit wins. You know, they want to, uh, this is my quote, this is my uh, theories here, you know, they want to uh, go back to the glory days. We have the old system back when, back when Britain was great or something like that. In her high-profile cases in 2002, five market traders known as the Metric Martyrs, I think we've spoken about them in the past, lost their court battle for a right to trade in pounds and ounces. The battle was supported by celebrities, including comedian John Cleese, I don't know who that is, and politicians, including Boris Johnson. I wonder what happened to that Boris Johnson fella. All they had to do was put in, put the metric equivalents next to the imperial ones, but they don't either out of spite or because it's extra work. Retailers and manufacturers don't want this because it's a lot of extra work and cost. Exports to the EU will need the mark uh, will need to be marked with the metric amounts, so manufacturers either have to list both amounts or have to have two different production lines, which cost more. So you either have a metric and imperial number, or you have um, you either have both. Uh, when you want to export to the EU or you run into problems. That's a, that's going to be an issue. Jacob Rees-Mogg, who had a role to identify Brexit opportunities, that was his previous role, has been a long-term supporter of using imperial measurement. The proposed change is, however, unlikely to be hailed as a significant Brexit dividend, probably because Dude was around way before the metric system was invented. That's why he doesn't like it. Not one constituent has ever asked for this, said Conservative MP Alicia Kearns, tweeted earlier this year, this isn't a Brexit freedom, it's a nonsense. Some MPs are against it, Tory MPs, but I doubt they'll vote against it. This is just sad. BEIS, which is a really annoying acronym, officials say the purpose of the consultation was to examine how great a choice would be uh, could be given to businesses and consumers. The government has not yet, se- not yet said when a response to the consultation will be published. I mean, that's a joke statement right there. If you're not going to allow a metric option, this survey is pointless. But the government know what they're doing, which is they're biasing a survey. And they'll say, look, we're going back to the imperial measurements. Not only now, the tyranny of grams will be gone. And now we can deal with ounces and flow ounces. Yes, cups as well. Let's not forget cups, the worst measurement tool. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, especially if you're American. I want to know why you Americans still use the imperial system and why your version is different to ours. Um, Support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you you on the next one.